following a developing story out of Nigeria and new information on those abducted schoolgirls. The military says it knows where to find the more than 200 missing girls, but at the moment they are not prepared to launch a rescue mission. CCTV's Jim Spellman has been following the story from day one. Jim, what can you tell us? Potentially important news out of, out of Nigeria Monday, the Chief of Defense Staff, Air Chief Marshal Alex Bidet, speaking to the state-run news agency of Nigeria, pushed back against criticism that Nigerian security forces haven't been working hard enough to find the missing girls. He told the news agency, quote, the good news for the parents of the girls is that we know where they are, but we cannot tell you. Adding, we cannot come and tell you the military secret. Just leave us alone. We are working to get the girls back. He then went on to question whether the Nigerian military would even attempt a rescue, saying, nobody should say Nigerian military does not know what it is doing. We can't kill our girls in the name of trying to get them back. But it's unclear if the chief of defense staff is referring to an exact location of the girls or just a general idea of where they may be. The comments come six weeks after over 200 girls were kidnapped by Islamist terror group Boko Haram in northern Nigeria at a protest in the capital city of Abuja today. Protesters expressed their frustration. It's the responsibility of government to protect every citizen. And therefore, if a citizen is missing, it is government's responsibility to produce that citizen. It's been known all along that going up against Boko Haram in any sort of rescue mission to get the girls would be risky. The United States, the United Kingdom, China, and other countries are assisting the Nigerian government in the search. And in the interview, that military official says he welcomes their assistance, but says the Nigerian forces have been unfairly portrayed as incompetent, Asiye. All right. Thank you very much, Jim Spellman.